Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, this is a very exciting video. As you can tell from the thumbnail and title, I have two Harry Potter advent calendars and they are from Cauldron Crates and the Wizarding Trunk. And for this video, I decided that I'm going to battle these boxes. I'm going to open both of these boxes day by day, so there will be spoilers. If you guys do not want spoilers for these boxes, look away. Feel free, because there will be spoilers. I'm going to open all 25 days right now. And by the end, we will know which Harry Potter advent calendar won for 2019. Now, a lot of you guys always ask me which Harry Potter box is my absolute favorite. Guys, these two are it. The Cauldron Crates and the Wizarding Trunk, in my opinion, are the top Harry Potter boxes out on the market today. So I am beyond excited that I was able to grab both of these advent calendars. So without further ado, let's battle these boxes. This is the Wizarding Trunk box, and this is what we see when we open the Wizarding Trunk. This is beyond cute, so festive. And this is the Cauldron Crate box. And this is a sneak peek for Cauldron Crate. Ah, and I'm losing stuff already. So this is really cute as well. So this was, I do believe, taped on the top of Cauldron Crate. Pretty sure it's spoilers. Yes, we will not look at this. Oh my God, this really is like Christmas. Eee! Okay. So I see number one for Cauldron Crate. Let's get to it. It's like the Great Hall at Christmas. It has the floating lights. You see a big Christmas tree here. That is so cute. So festive. Oh, that is awesome. Great start to the box. So that was the first item in Cauldron Crate. Let's skip over to the Wizarding Trunk. So this is number one for the Wizarding Trunk. This is such cute packaging. But let's see what we got. It is Wizard Wheezes. So this is like Fred and George's shop. They're like ornaments. And I don't know if you can see, but they are super sparkly. Like that is gorgeous. Oh, I adore these. So this is day one, and for me, Wizarding Trunk takes day one, but still, great way to start the box. Day two for Cauldron Crate. Again, the packaging is amazing. This feels like it came from the Wizarding World. It is a holiday shopping list, and it has different Harry Potter items on there, like a broom, the golden snitch, like a chocolate frog card, some stockings. That is so freaking cute, and it's smaller. Like, it's the size of my hand almost, so it's perfect for fitting it into your purse. Wow, love it. Day two for the Wizarding Trunk. Again, a cute packaging. Oh, it's a candle. Christmas cauldron cake, three ounce scent carrot cake. And it does look like a little cauldron. Let's see what it looks like. So just a brownish color. Not my favorite smelling candle, to be honest. Maybe it's because I do not like carrot cake. I know, don't hate me, I'm sorry. Yeah, not my favorite. Very cute candle though. Just the scent is not my favorite. So day two goes to Cauldron Crate. This is such a cute little shopping list. I will definitely be using this this Christmas. So this is day three from Cauldron Crate. It feels like a pencil. It is, and it says use it well. Pencils are just not my favorite item to get. I do love the quote on there. That's the, of course a quote from when Harry got his invisibility cloak um, from Dumbledore, so I do like the quote. So, okay. Day three from the Wizarding Trunk. It is a Mad-Eye Moody ornament. I almost wish this was white and not brown. That way the blue like really popped, but still, so cute. So day three goes to the Wizarding Trunk. Day four, this is Cauldron Crate, this really cute black pouch. Oh, it's a silver charm bracelet with a lightning bolt on there. That is so cute. I adore this. Day four, Wizarding Trunk. Oh, it's a keychain? 
It has a hole, so maybe you can put stuff in there. But it says magical. It has some lightning bolts on there, some stars, owl, a little cage, some books. I don't really know what I would put in there, but that is really cute. So that is day four. Um, I think I'm going to have to give it to Cauldron Crate because I really love this bracelet. And the fact that it is silver, thank God, that is adorable. Day five, this is Cauldron Crate. We have another envelope with five on there. It is a Harry Potter Christmas card and it's like a snow globe with the Hogwarts castle in there. That is adorable. It's almost too cute to actually give away to anybody. <laughs> I love the detail and it did come with the envelope so I guess I could mail it to somebody I don't know I might want to keep it for myself it's really fun actually digging around for the right number but this is number five from the wizarding trunk and we have some chapstick so it says Christmas at the castle vanilla something and jojoba okay so it is blue ooh it smells good doesn't really have a taste, but it feels really good. So I love chapstick. You guys know that. But I do have quite a bit of chapstick. So I do believe I'm going to give day five to Cauldron Crate because this Christmas card is adorable. Day six, Cauldron Crate in this really cute red packaging. It feels like a candle. And it is. It is Christmas Feast, orange, cinnamon, and cloves cauldron crate on top as always let's see what it looks like oh pink with like gold sparkles that is so pretty oh my god I think I've said this every time the candles from cauldron crate almost always smell absolutely amazing that really does smell so good oh I am a fan of this candle. Day six in the wizarding trunk. It's some more room spray. Roasting marshmallow in the common room. This is kind of similar to the one they have given us before, but let's give it a smell. It does kind of smell sweet, marshmallowy. I really liked the previous room spray we've gotten from them. I do use it. So that is awesome. It's day six. Mm. I do believe we'll have to go to Cauldron Crate because guys, this candle smells amazing. Okay, this is day seven, Cauldron Crate. It is a pin and it is Christmas at Hogwarts snow globe pin that is absolutely gorgeous. This is the perfect Christmas pin. I adore this. And guys, it is the same design as our Christmas card, like the exact same design. That is, oh, that is adorable. Oh my gosh. This might be my favorite item so far. That is so cute. Day seven, wizarding trunk. It is in this really pretty purple pouch. I'm keeping this pouch. That is cute. It is holiday traveling hot cocoa, hot cocoa for the stranded witch or wizard. So this is kind of like what you would get on the night bus. That is adorable i don't think i would actually like make this or drink it or anything but that is a perfect decoration for my kitchen that is so freaking cute but day seven i think still has to go to cauldron crate because this pin is gorgeous and you guys know i'm a sucker for harry potter enamel pins so day eight cauldron crate we have a, another cute black pouch it's little charms like for our charm bracelet maybe? Oh, hold the phone. So we have the sorting hat, then we have a golden snitch, and then a little broom, and then a platform nine and three quarters, King's Cross, London. So it's more charms for our little charm bracelet. Oh my God, that is genius that is genius and I love that we have gold and silver which normally I don't but it actually looks really cute oh I am such a fan of this Wow day 8 wizarding trunk oh it is fluffy I'm assuming as a puppy with a bow unlike fluffy these puppies look really cute and cuddly um, but they grow up to be very vicious <laughs> But I adore this pin. This is really hard, guys, because day eight was a very big hit. 
but I'm gonna have to give it to the wizarding trunk just because this enamel pin of fluffy is genius that is that is adorable oh my gosh day eight I think has been the hardest one to choose from so far day nine cauldron crate it's rattling it is a keychain with a little lion on there and then like a tube with red beads in there. I'm assuming this is to like represent the house points. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know keychains generally are not my favorite item to get, but this is so cute. I will definitely be putting these on my keys. Day nine, the wizarding trunk. It is a nether candle and it says Flitwicks. It's probably full of nargles though, two ounce. But let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it is green and sparkly. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of woodsy. It smells really good. These were both really good, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to Cauldron Crate because this is the cutest keychain. Day 10 Cauldron Crate. Ooh, and it rattles. It's a necklace, guys, and it has like a little charm on the bottom and it's like a little potion bottle with like white silver glitter in there that is adorable oh my gosh yes i am loving all of this jewelry from cauldron crates yes so day 10 from the wizarding trunk Ooh, it feels like a potion it is a potion the Pepper Up Potion. This potion cures the common cold and warms up the drinker. Note, this potion can cause steam to emit from the drinker's ears for hours after drinking, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. So it's kind of like a reddish, pinkish, sparkly potion. It's a lot thicker, kind of like the replenishing potion they gave us. So it's very thick. But that is awesome. You guys know I love getting potions. So day 10, another great day, <laughs> goes to the wizarding trunk just because I adore potions. But I do love jewelry, so, oh, this was hard. Day 11, and it says Marge's Dog Biscuit Vegan Oatmeal and Shea Butter Soap. Happy Christmas, Harry. And it does have the ingredients on there. And it really is shaped like a dog biscuit. Wow. Ooh. These actually kind of smell like cookies. It must be the oatmeal. <laughs> they smell like oatmeal cookies. That is so freaking cute. Yes. Even though I hate Aunt Marge, she is evil. These are adorable. I love that. Day 11, the wizarding trunk, and it's in this really pretty gold pouch. It's a gold ornament, and it says Felix. So this is liquid luck. I almost wish, guys, that this would have been clear with gold glitter in there. I think that would have been so much prettier. Um, or at least this be like gold glitter spray because it's just kind of plain gold and not my favorite label but that's just me being picky still very cute just not my favorite i think it could have been done a little bit different to make it absolutely gorgeous day 11 definitely has to go to cauldron crate these little soaps are adorable and they smell so good way to think outside the box like that is cute day 12 cauldron crate it's more charms. It's Horcruxes. We have Tom Riddle's Diary, and then we have the Hufflepuff Cup, and then we have the Diadem of Ravenclaw. I adore that they put some of the Horcruxes on here. That is awesome. You guys, is this not adorable? I mean, yes, Cauldron Crates. Those three are my favorite charms so far. Day 12 from the Wizarding Trunk. And again, guys, these pouches are freaking adorable. I'm keeping every single one of these pouches. Like, heck yes. Guys, it's another potion. Oh, oh no it's not. Hold the phone. The Elixir of Life Bath Salts. That is so cute. Let's open it and smell it. Not my favorite smelling bath salt we've ever gotten. It doesn't smell bad. 
just not my favorite. Um, but I love that it's pink. This is so cute. And again, I really like that they kind of did it in a potion type of bottle. So if you don't have a bath, don't like bath salts, you can still kind of display it on your potion cabinet. But day 12 uh, has to go to Cauldron Crate. I am loving these charms, especially that they did replicas of the horror cruxes. Like, yes. Yes. Day 13. This is Cauldron Crate. I see purple hair. What? It is a crocheted pygmy puff and it's purple. Like, what? That is adorable. And I'm assuming it might be kind of like an ornament that we can put on our tree. Oh, you are so going on my Christmas tree. That is adorable. I have to name her. <sighs> Uh, let me know in the comments down below what I should name my cute purple pygmy puff. Day 13 from the Wizarding Trunk. Ooh, I think it's an enamel pin. It is an enamel pin, and I have no idea what it is. It kind of looks like it has a B in the middle, kind of like a crest. So maybe bow baton? But I, I'm not quite sure what this is from. Um, it's still very pretty. Not my favorite ever. I don't see a spoiler sheet in this box, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure, guys. But that is still really pretty. But day 13, I think I have to give it to Cauldron Crate. Like, that is adorable. I cannot wait to put this on my tree. Ugh. But God, these, these boxes are so good. Day 14 from Cauldron Crate, we have a, another envelope. Oh, it's a, another Christmas card. It is the Weasley Family Jumpers and they're in order. So it's Arthur, Molly, Bill, Charlie, Percy, Fred, George, Ron, and Jenny. That is so freaking cute. I have always wanted a Weasley sweater with a T on it. One day, maybe. One day. But that's like the dream. That is so freaking cute. Again, I almost don't want to give these away because I adore them. 14 from the Wizarding Trunk. Say another candle. And it's shaped like a cup. Molly's Holiday Mold Cider. And it's purple. Ooh. Ooh, this kind of smells cinnamony. Yes. Oh, I love the smell of this. I think this is the best smelling candle so far from the Wizarding Trunk. Honestly, I almost wish the label wasn't on there because it's not my favorite label. Um, and if it, and I kind of wish it was down a little bit, just my OCD kind of creeping in there. Um, it's not centered and it's bothering me. <laughs> but day 14. Ooh, this is really hard because I do really like this candle. <sighs> but guys, I have got to give it to Cauldron Great. I adore this Christmas card. Like, I know it's like a very simple design, but for it to be the Weasley Jumpers and in order with the entire family, like, that's just adorable. Especially because it has Charlie, who was left out in the movies, which annoys the crap out of me. You can't leave, you can't leave out a Weasley. Like, you can't. And they did, like... What? The Weasley family is like the Weasley family. You can't leave one out. That really annoyed me. So I love that they have the entire family. So yeah, day 14 goes to Cauldron Crate. But day 15 from Cauldron Crate. You know how I just said that I wish I had a Weasley sweater with a T on it? Like it's been my dream forever. Like I know it's a little bitty handmade crocheted little and it's you know but I mean like I literally just said that I adore this again one thing about cauldron crate over the wizarding trunk is they have always and I do mean always have something personalized I can't I can't get over this like, sometimes the simplest things just make me so happy. Wow. Day 15, the Wizarding Trunk. 
Oh, it's a scented key ring. Okay. So it's Peppermint Toad by Alchemy for the Skin. Okay, let's give it a smell. Hmm. Not my favorite smelling, to be honest. I don't even know what that... Mmm. Very cute, but definitely not my favorite. Um, but yeah, this is day 15, two cauldron crates. Day 16, this is cauldron crate. We have a, another black pouch. Ooh, I think it might be more charms for our bracelet. It is more horcruxes. So we have the Slytherin locket. We have the ring with the resurrection stone. And then we have the death mark, which might represent Nagini or it just might be the death mark. It might not be a horcrux. I am adoring this. That is awesome. Day 16, the wizarding trunk. It's a ornament and it's the Deathly Hollow symbols and we have a little doe right there. And I like that it kind of has that natural wood burned kind of look. I'm glad they didn't paint it. That is so cute. I am loving all of these ornaments, guys. I mean, yes. Yes. Day 16. This is really hard because I am loving these little charms and this bracelet. But again, that is such a cute ornament. I'm going to give it to the wizarding trunk just because I really, really like this ornament. I love that they included the Deathly Hollow symbol, so that is awesome. Day 17, Cauldron Crate. And on the back it says, Harry, we received your message and enclosed your Christmas present from Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia. Oh. This is either socks or a coin, I think. Or a hanger. Mmm. That is awesome. I love that this is kind of going to be like a replica from a Harry Potter Christmas. This is straight from the books, guys. It is a napkin, a 50 pence coin, and a toothpick. That is freaking hilarious because I remember Ron was like fascinated with the coin. So Harry gave it to him. Oh, I'm keeping this in the package as a replica from the book and I will keep it like this forever. That is, that is hilarious, Cauldron Crate. That is hilarious. Wow. Okay, 17 from the Wizarding Trunk. I think it's another candle. It is another candle. Flitwick's Christmas in the Hollow. Cute little picture. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, and it's blue and sparkly. Ooh, and it smells really good as well. I do like this candle. We have gotten quite a few candles from the Wizarding Trunk though. I wish they would have been a little more diverse in the items, um, but still such a pretty candle. Smells really good. So day 17, I have to give it to Cauldron Crate. I know it's a toothpick, a napkin, and a coin, but I'm such a sucker from anything that is directly from the book. So this is totally just my preference. I love replicas from the book. That is, it's just hilarious. Um, but still a really good candle. Day 18 from Cauldron Crate. Ooh, we have a potion. First ingredient, powdered root of asphodel? At what? Asphodel quality? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But it's like gray sparkled powder in there. Oh, perfect for my potion cabinets. That is awesome. 18 from the Wizarding Trunk. Ooh, mistletoe berry. This berry is highly poisonous and can be recognized by its small, white, and waxy appearance. These are most commonly used in common poison antidotes and potions for the forgetful crush before use. So it's like another little potion. And it really is just like white little pearls in there. That is really cute. So this is actually potion against potion. I have to give it to Cauldron Crate just because I like the shape of this and the label more. Day 19, Cauldron Crate. I think this might be more charms, guys. We have the Deathly Hollow symbol. 
We have a little one that says always with a heart. And then we have a really big time turner. And guys, this thing actually spins like it really spins. <laughs> The only thing I will say about the time turner is that it's maybe a little too big for a charm bracelet, but I mean, it's an actual time turner. I think this is like the same size almost as a necklace. And day 19, the wizarding trunk, it is a T that is adorable. It says the world's strongest love potion tea, a sparkling magical color changing tea what like it changes colors i have never heard of that again you guys know i do not drink tea but i almost want to just make this to see if it actually changes colors but again i love that they put their tea and stuff in did like glass bottles so for those of us who do not drink tea we can put them with all of our other potions day 19 I think we'll have to go to the wizarding trunk surprisingly even though it's a tea I really like this label and I almost I think I might make a little to see if it actually changes colors like I didn't know tea did that <laughs> day 20 cauldron crate oh it's another candle and it says, New Year's at Shell Cottage, champagne, roses, hand poured, soy, wax candle, cauldron crate on top. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, so like a white with sparkle. Ooh, again, that smells really good. Hmm, champagne and roses. That is a perfect combination. Day 20 from the Wizarding Trunk. It is an enamel pin and it says the Yule Ball and it's like a snowflake. That is so pretty. This is my second Yule Ball pin now because we got one from Cherry's Box. Yes to all of the enamel pins. <laughs> Day 20. Oh, I will have to give it to the Wizarding Trunk. I love this enamel pin. Day 21 from Cauldron Crate. It is a potion but it's in like a little tube and it says slug and jiggers flobberworm mucus. Ew. This is like the same one who made our glittery magical thing. So did, does this do anything? It doesn't move, but it's like a white. It almost looks like it wants to glow in the dark. But yeah, that is really cool. I do not have any potion like this. 21 wizarding trunk we have another candle and it says wizarding family recipe treckle tart it has like instructions and everything like if it was like a real treckle tart but let's see what it looks like so just a brownish color it doesn't smell bad but not my favorite um, it reminds me of something I know I've smelt it before. Hmm, not bad, just not my favorite. Day 21, we'll definitely have to go to Cauldron Crate. We only have four left. I'm so sad, I don't want this to end. <laughs> um, okay, 22 from Cauldron Crate. I think we all know what this is. We have a little owl. We have a wand. I'm assuming this is Harry's wand. It kind of looks like Harry's. And then we have a bottle of Liquid Luck. That is so cute. So here it is, guys. I'm assuming it looks like this is the last of our charms. And <laughs> this is the coolest item ever. Oh my gosh. I am such a fan of this. I, this makes me smile like so much. Number 22 from the Wizarding Trunk. Ooh, it's another potion. Befundlement Draught. This potion is used to confuse the mind and cause recklessness in the drinker. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love the green. So day 22, <sighs> this is hard. 
I think I'm going to give it to the Wizarding Trunk. Um, just because I love potions. But this item overall, overall, is my second favorite. Try to guess what my first favorite item is. I'll tell you in a minute. 23 from Cauldron Crate. No way. It is Fairy Wings, harvested in 1935, 25, 19, I can't really tell. But guys, it is little Fairy Wings in there. That is really cute. I love it for my potion cabinet. So day 23 from the Wizarding Trunk. It's another enamel pin. It is an enamel pin of the burrow, like with snow. So this is like Christmas time. You can see a little Christmas tree there. I think I've said this every time I've unboxed the Wizarding Trunk. I adore, adore their enamel pins. That is so cute. So day 23, we'll definitely have to go to the Wizarding Trunk. That is such a cool enamel pin. I really want to go to the burrow like to live. Will they adopt me? I'll bring my kids. <laughs> 24 from Cauldron Crate. So it's like one of those metal cups and it has Harry and Ron opening presents in their Christmas jumpas. And then it looks like the Great Hall decorated for Christmas. And then we have Harry and Ron with Hermione there playing wizarding chess. The faces are not my favorite. I wish they weren't so cartoony, if that makes sense. Um, but I adore this cup. This is the perfect Christmas cup for hot chocolate and coffee. That is so cute. Okay, day 24 from the Wizarding Trunk. It's a gray hat. It's not very Harry Potter, is it? Like, am I missing a reference? This must be from the movies, because I'm, am I wrong? I think Hermione wears a gray hat in one of the movies. Um, so, but let's try it on real fast. Okay, so this is the little hat. Um, it's not my favorite. I kind of had to roll it up because if not, like a bunch of it would be hanging off the top of my head. It's not my favorite just because of the fit. And I wish it was a little more magical. I'm kind of a person who doesn't mind wearable items to be blatantly Harry Potter. Like nobody would get the reference that this was from Harry Potter, Hermione. So I almost wish it was something a little more recognizable from the magical world. Um, so not my favorite. It's just, I just have a weird head, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But day 24 goes to Cauldron Crate. And day 25 from Cauldron Crate the last item. I'm so sad. <laughs> I really don't want this to end. But day 25, it's like a crocheted Professor Dumbledore with no feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is kind of like, what? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Like, I love his little hat with the little gold tassels. Like, I don't know how I will display this, but I, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> that made me laugh. And I'm assuming this is day 25 from the Wizarding Trunk. It doesn't have a number, but it's the last item in the box. Oh, and it's a wood bookmark that says, Happy Christmas. Oh, Godric's Hollow. That is so pretty. I would love to go to Godric's Hollow and see the ruins of the Potter house and sign my name. Like, I know that's not even a real thing, but I want to do it. <laughs> that is so cute. You guys know I love bookmarks. Love this. Day 25. Oh, I don't know. This is really hard. I think I have to give it to Cauldron Crate because... What? <laughs> I can't even with this Dumbledore. Like, what? <laughs> 
That is hilarious. I can't get over his no legs. <laughs> but guys, that was it. That was the advent calendar for Cauldron Crate and for Wizarding Trunk. Now, the Wizarding Trunk does not have a spoiler sheet, but Cauldron Crate does with a little card that says Harry Potter inspired crochet wand and hook. Visit me on Instagram for more magical creations. This must be who made all the crocheted items for Cauldron Crate. Guys, go check her out. I adore these little crocheted pieces. They're so cute. Like what? <laughs> I'm not gonna read it all because this video is long enough, but I do wanna read one thing. Number 15, personalized mini knitted jumper decoration. Everyone's favorite mother has knitted you your very own Christmas sweater. We have included an adorable coat hanger so you can hang it on your tree with pride. Yes, yes. So I'm going to add up the total to see which box won most days. So the results are in. The Wizarding Trunk won nine days and Cauldron Crate won 16. So Cauldron Crate is the winner for the 2019 Harry Potter Advent Calendar Battle. I mean, is there even a loser though? Like really, did either of these boxes lose? No, these were amazing but as always you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item least favorite what did you think of these overall and do you agree with me do you think cauldron crate won this advent calendar battle let me know in the comments down below my favorite items from the wizarding trunk is definitely the wizard wheezes ornaments and these two enamel pins the one of fluffy and the burrow i just adore these these just make me so freaking happy like, yes. My favorite items from the Cauldron Crate, you probably already know, is my very own personalized little sweater from Molly Weasley. The charm bracelet with all of these charms. Like, I can't, there are just no more words. Like, that is amazing. Plus the snow globe enamel pen with Hogwarts in there. That is so pretty, but I also really liked the Christmas cards and the little replica gift from the Dursleys. Like, that is freaking hilarious. I mean, and the cup, the little crochet Dumbledore. <sighs> Guys, so much stuff. And both of these boxes were absolutely amazing. Personally, for me, Cauldron Crate won just because it had more of kind of my taste plus and it had a little replica item which it was hilarious that I had just said that before I had gotten this and I've had no spoilers for this so that is just I mean okay both of these were absolutely amazing next year I really hope they do it again because I want them. <laughs> they could do this every month and I want them. <laughs> but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. And I'm actually a little bit behind, so there you go. Hey. I'm trying to get this box out of frame. Get out of frame. See? Oh my god, this is so much fun. Oh, if I can get it out. Oh, it's a tight fit. Oh, so cute. Oh. Bracelets. 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 Really cute. It's in this. So, Dave. You guys, it's a chapstick holder. I've seen that before. Wow. Is that a nine? No, this is a six. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. The, the a seven? Where art thou? Like for, um, the night bus. Oh my God. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, trunk. Gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, and I dropped it. <laughs>
purple pig let me put up bobaton oh my god i'm blanking on the name alexa i'm not sure about that i'm pretty sure it's bobaton i don't know why that sounds weird to me and i like that the plastic they use is compostable Com composable com god this is gonna be the longest video sorry You guys, I, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Ooh, stupid train. Come back. <laughs> Ooh, and it's pink, a pink, pink. And, and a napkin, and I just spit everywhere, wow. It even sounds Christmassy. Losing my Santa hat. Probably not. <laughs> I'm trying to break it like a glow stick. <laughs> this is the color I wish my eyes were. Like, for real. Wow. <laughs> I just knocked over a light. Cause I'm a pro. It is done. Mm -hmm.